the days become gradually brighter and warmer, the season of renewal arrives and wild garlic, cleavers, chickweed, nettles and an array of other edible spring plants push their way through the soil. In winter, we are often less active and we nurture ourselves in this darker period with warming foods, eating more fat and carbs. As spring arrives, we often feel sluggish with low energy and carry extra weight. This can be the result of a build-up of toxins, so spring is a good time to cleanse the body. There is an abundance of plants to harvest that can help cleanse, nourish and revitalise. These beneficial plants can be used freshly harvested in the spring. They can also be preserved by drying or fermenting or turned into potions and tonics to use as you need them. So I know the woods. I know there's cleavers here, yeah. wild garlic and nettles. Do you do a lot with nettles? Nettles and wild garlic are the ones I use most. Uh -huh. You know, they're that real crossover of what's a herb and what's a food. Yeah, absolutely. You they're know. so high in nutrients mm. and iron. Mm. Great for psoriasis, for arthritis, eczema, mm. anti-inflammatory. And it's a good time of year to start taking nettles as we approach the hay fever season. Absolutely. Mm. Look, here's some here. Oh, that looks oh, good. Yeah, really lovely bun. Can we pick some? Let's. Gorgeous colour, mm. aren't they, when they're young? This is the best time to pick them. Make absolutely delicious soups. Yeah, lovely tea infusion. Mm. Oh, we can make an infusion when we get back. And if you see the leaf there, you see the tiny little stingers. And if you just squash it flat, you don't get stung. Mm. One thing that a lot of people don't know about nettles is that the root can be used as well. Oh, yeah. For enlarged prostate Oh, really? Problems. Yeah, for really? men. Yeah. yeah, I never used the root. That's a good thing to know. Oh, look, I can see a patch of wild garlic. Well, you can smell it from here, can't I you? I know. This is one of my favourite foods of spring. Got all the benefits of garlic with chlorophyll. Lots of antioxidants and antimicrobial activity. Mm. So if you had a bit of a cold, it'd be great to to add to your salad, really, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, make a pesto with it. Make, make a, pesto. a pesto and dollop it on your green leaves. Lovely. Yeah, really good. So you've got all the nettles with the high in iron and the garlic, mm. full of antibacterial mm. properties. Mm. It's a bounty of nutrition this time of year. Mmm, lovely. And once you discover a patch, you'll just go back every year to harvest it. Thanks for showing me. <laughs> There's so much in these woods that you can use as food and medicine, isn't there? I know, there? it's fantastic. And look, cleavers. Wow, great. Can we get some? Yes, definitely. It's everywhere, isn't it, cleavers? Yeah, and it's great. It's one of the first flowers of spring and really good for after the winter. It's part of a detox. The spring cleanse. The yeah. spring yeah. cleanse, yeah. yeah. Mm. And helps drain the lymphatic system. Mm. So it's the same family as bed straw. Is it? Yeah. And a bed straw used to be strewn on the floor and its scent would be like mown grass. But the uh, cleavers, if you look at the cleavers, it's got like tiny little hairs on it. It looks a bit like a bottle brush. So you can just see how in the olden days they would have used this as a, a lymphatic drainage and how they had imagined using that like a pipe cleaner clearing the lymph mm. system. I love the way nature devises different strategies to disperse the seeds of a plant. With the case of cleavers, it creates a sticky seed that sticks to you and then gets dispersed somewhere else. OK, let's take this home. Lovely. The foods and herbs of spring are key to a cleansing diet. You can use them to cleanse and support the liver, kidneys and lymphatic system, improve gallbladder function, improve skin conditions, cleanse and strengthen blood, rid the body of parasites, nourish beneficial gut bacteria and improve immune response. Oh, it's a nice colour. Good health. Good health. That's lovely. So Julia, will you tell us a little bit about some of the herbs we picked this morning? Mm. Well, we've got the cleavers here, also known as goosegrass. 
Traditionally, it's used for lymphatic drainage, for swollen glands, sore throats, that kind of thing. It's also anti-inflammatory and a slight diuretic. Mm -hmm. We've also got some lovely chickweed here. I think it's called chickweed because they used to feed it to chicks when they're little. Mm -hmm. um, it's got beautiful little white flowers in it. Traditionally, you'd uh, use it for eczema or psoriasis, a kind of itchy skin complaints. It's very cooling and soothing. We've also got some dandelion mm. root here and some mm. dandelion leaves. Now, the whole plant's actually used. You use the root in the autumn for a liver tonic. Mm -hmm. um, it increases the bile flow and it's a mild laxative. So you'd harvest the root in the autumn. But in spring, you'd harvest the leaves, the yeah. aerial parts, just before flowering. They're quite bitter. They're also a fantastic diuretic, high in potassium. So oh, yeah. if, if there's any fluid retention, mm -hmm. swollen mm -hmm. ankles, high blood pressure, that kind of thing, um, you can make a lovely tea with the dandelion leaves or put it in your salad, and it can really help in those kind of conditions. And we also harvested these beautiful violets. How would you use those? So what's amazing about these lovely little violet odoratas, even though they're so light and small, if you measured 100 grams of orange compared to 100 grams of violet, the violets would have two times more vitamin C than the actual orange. So you could um, macerate them by putting them in some olive oil, leaving it for two to six weeks, and then draining it, and then you'll have a fantastic violet oil. And so if you used it as a salad dressing, you'll get the benefits of the vitamin C from mm. the violets. Mm. Also high in vitamin A, so good for the eyes as well. That's wonderful. So I've put together a few short videos of how I prepare these medicinal plants. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can have a look at them. Thanks, Julia. To make chickweed oil is really simple. Take the freshly picked chickweed and let it wilt to reduce the amount of water, which will make a strong infusion of oil. Tear up the chickweed and place in a jar. Cover the chickweed with oil Put the lid on the jar and place in a cool, dry place for about two weeks. Gently shake the jar once a day and keep the oil and plants mixed thoroughly. After about two weeks, it will look like this. Strain the infused chickweed oil through muslin and squeeze out the last bit. This maceration of chickweed oil can be used to make ointments or can be used directly on the skin to help with things like eczema or psoriasis. It stops that itchy feeling. So once you've got the chickweed oil, you can make a chickweed ointment. To make chickweed ointment, you'll need 20 ml of an infused chickweed oil, two grams of beeswax and a 30 ml jar. Place the oil and the wax in the top half of a double boiler over a low heat. Stir gently with a metal spoon until the wax is dissolved. Remove the mixture and pour into a clean jar. And at this stage, you could add a few drops of lavender oil to make it smell really nice. Let the oil set before you place the lid on top. Chickweed ointment can reduce inflammation and can be used for itchy skin conditions. Dandelion skin tonic is a great revitalizer for normal skin. To make the tonic, you'll need a generous handful of dandelion leaves, a tablespoon of dried thyme, a tablespoon of lavender flowers if you wish, and 300 ml of boiling water. This is really simple. Just infuse all the herbs in the boiling water. And once it's cooled down, you can add the witch hazel and pour into a glass jar or bottle. So this is a great tonic if you've got difficult skin, if you need to take off your makeup or if you've got acne. The infusion of the dandelion leaves are really cleansing. The thyme and the lavender are both antibacterial, so it could be quite helpful during a spring cleanse and it helps keep your pores nice and clean. There are a myriad of ways you can use the wild harvested foods of spring and Julia has shared with us some brilliant ideas. Nettles and wild garlic are two of the most beneficial foods you can harvest. Nettle is a nutrient-dense food high in minerals, vitamins, phytonutrients and protein. 
Nettle has a reputation as an iron tonic, not just because it contains relatively high levels of iron, but because it also contains amino acids and vitamin C, which are both required as cofactors for iron absorption. Nettles are high in flavonoids, as well as chlorophyll, both of which help to improve the health of the blood and circulatory system. Nettles are particularly beneficial in the spring because of their cleansing properties that enable the liver, kidneys, skin and lungs to all work more effectively. Nettles are helpful in conditions such as arthritis and gout and commonly used to ease eczema, asthma, allergies and hay fever. There are lots of ways you can include nettles in your diet and here's a few of my favourites. Nettle soup, revitalising and warming for those cooler spring and early summer evenings. Nettle pesto, use nettles instead of basil and walnuts instead of pine kernels to make a nettle pesto. The omega-3 fatty acid in the walnuts makes this particularly nourishing and it keeps well in the fridge. Juicing nettles. If you juice, try including a handful of freshly picked nettles to make a mineral rich drink. Nettle kimchi. Fermented nettles combines one of my favorite plants with one of my favorite techniques. Nettle kimchi is a fantastic food that supports beneficial bacteria in the gut. Dried nettles. Harvest the nettles in spring and early summer. Tie them up in bunches and hang in a dry airy space. When they are dry, pick off the leaves and store in an airtight jar. Use them throughout the year to make tea. Nettle powder. You can also turn the dried leaves into a powder, either using a pestle and mortar or food processor. Add the powder to your favourite dishes to increase their nutritional value. Sourdough rye loaf with nettles. There are three tablespoons of nettle powder in this sourdough rye loaf. All my recipes using nettles are freely available on the Green Cuisine Trust website. Wild garlic has all the benefits of cultivated bulb garlic with the addition of chlorophyll, which is both cleansing and rejuvenating. Wild garlic helps increase the beneficial gut bacteria and is a useful remedy for problems of the gastrointestinal tract. Wild garlic is antibacterial, antibiotic and antiseptic and particularly effective in reducing blood pressure and hence heart disease and the risk of stroke. You can chop up wild garlic and add it to any savoury dish. Frittata, quiche, potato gratin or risotto. Wild garlic grissini. I make wild garlic grissini. They're great to dunk in your nettle soup. Wild garlic oil. Create a flavoursome oil by infusing wild garlic in olive oil. Wild garlic dressing. Blend a handful of wild garlic leaves with olive oil, balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper to make a great dressing for a spring salad. Wild garlic sauerkraut. The nitrogen and sulphur in the cabbage helps flush out unwanted toxins. The wild garlic helps increase the beneficial gut bacteria. This combination creates just a perfect cleansing food. All my recipes using wild garlic are freely available on the Green Cuisine Trust website. There are many cultivated spring vegetables that can be added to a spring cleansing diet. Asparagus is a great food to eat during a cleanse as it supports both the kidneys and the liver. Artichoke has a mild diuretic effect on the kidneys, ensuring proper removal of toxins once the liver breaks them down. Broccoli sprouts dramatically increase liver enzyme stimulating activity. Cauliflower is rich in sulfur compounds, which supports the liver's detoxification pathways. Beetroot contains vitamins B3, B1 and C, beta carotene, iron, magnesium, zinc and calcium. These are all necessary for optimal cleansing and great for gallbladder and liver health. Chlorophyll containing foods. All green leaves contain chlorophyll, 
Wheatgrass and sea vegetables like dulse are particularly good, helping to bind with toxins and remove them from the body. Learning to recognise, harvest and use the healing properties of plants deepens our knowledge and understanding of how foods and herbs support our well-being.